Welcome back to Sunless Sea. In the last episode, I got the Memento Mori, a pretty damn incredible weapon. But unfortunately, I can't mount it on my ship. It needs a forward slot, and I don't have one. So my main goal at the moment is to buy the Corvette ship, which is so much better than my current ship. It has a hull of 200 instead of 75, it holds 15 crew instead of 10, and it has more slots, including a forward weapon slot, so I really want that ship. It costs 3,000 to get it, at least with the trade-in price of my current ship, so 3,000 in the end. I have 2,600, so I'm actually pretty close to being able to buy it. But I don't just want 3,000. I don't just want just enough to buy the ship. I want a bit of overhead for fuel and supplies and doing quests and whatnot, so I'm probably going to shoot for roughly 4,000 Echo. Maybe a little bit less than that, but somewhere around there before I actually buy the ship. So my main goal at the moment is simply to make money. And the most reliable way that I know to do that is to do the trade, uh, to do the trade quests. And at the moment, the guy wants either seven strange catches or seven hunting trophies. And I was trying to think of what places actually have those things, and I realized I can't remember. I know I've come across at least one place that sells strange catches, but I don't remember about the hunting trophies. And that brought up an issue. I've been exploring a lot of places, but I can't remember exactly where has what. So to fix that, I'm going to try doing something new. Let me just switch scenes here. Ooh, fancy. Stuff. So I am going to make my own spreadsheet and record exactly what place has what and for what price. It's uh, not exactly the best spreadsheet. I'm sure I can make this thing a lot better. For one, I don't think I can easily sort by item. So I'm probably going to have to do kind of manual searches. I, I don't know. I can always, you know, if the information I put into this thing ends up being kind of unwieldy, I can always just put it into some other system. So we'll see how it works out. But yeah, I'm going to record what places have what and for what price. So I can refer to my my trade goods log, or whatever you want to call it. My, my captain's log. And I'm sure I can just look this stuff up in a wiki or something like that. Although, maybe you can't, maybe it's randomized, I'm not quite sure. But, I think it's just more fun to just do it on my own. I think it's pretty cool. So given that I'm not entirely sure where to actually find a strange catch, I think I saw a strange catch somewhere up here. So, this isn't going to be terribly exciting, I have to apologize for that, but I'm just going to do the same safe route, well, relatively safe route that I did before, of just kind of looping around here. Getting a ton of port reports, because I'm pretty sure I could buy a strange catch somewhere. I want to say Aram, but I, I don't quite remember. But yeah, after I go through that, I'm going to record all the things that I encounter, and it's going to be a lot easier to find stuff for the trade quests. Let's take a stop by Gator's Morn. I suppose. I've heard some people say that this game can get quite grindy in terms of its gameplay. And I think this is that sort of a thing. Hello, teleporting ship. Are you going to... Oh, of course you're going to teleport. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the sort of situation where this game gets kind of grindy, because at this point I'm kind of just grinding out... grinding out trade quests. So that I can buy a new ship. Let me uh, wait for the opportune time to launch my attack. Do they know I'm here? What are they doing? And let's go. I don't know why I just shot. I didn't mean to. Ah, no. It's fine. We're good.
four supplies. Nice. I was actually kind of running low. So yeah, this is the sort of situation where this game feels grindy, I think. And I've just been trying to think, you know, do I have to do this? Technically, no. I don't have to grind out this trade route. I could just go adventuring off into the dark and hope to make money. But the problem is that the game is basically pressuring me to do this. Because this is a game with permadeath, right? They're the, the point of this game, for the most part, unless you turn it into the, like, the mercy mode or whatever it's called, where you can actually save the game and it's not permadeath. But the way this game is obviously intended to be played is that it has permadeath, and your decisions have consequences, and it's supposed to, you know, kind of stress you out. Your decisions are supposed to have consequences. And so, to actually just venture off into the dark looking for adventure, at this point in time, is incredibly stupid and irresponsible. This game is trying to make me care for the stuff that I have, and to worry about losing it. Right? It makes me attached, it keeps me attached to the things that I have, and knowing that I can lose them at any moment, is... it's exciting. It's stressful, but it's exciting. And so if I'm actually playing reasonably, if I'm even slightly role-playing my character, then I don't want to die. I don't want to lose my stuff. It has permadeath. So venturing off into the dark is incredibly stupid. At the moment, because... I know I can buy a better ship if I just keep doing these sorts of trade routes. And I know the ship is going to increase my survivability by a massive amount. So even though technically I don't have to do these trade routes, they really are the most sensible thing to do. I still remember what happened last time I explored. What's the worst that could happen? I'm totally not going to come across a group of pirates that try to kill me. Oh, I actually did not. An intriguing smell. Who will try? Who will buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. Try the grilled troglodyte prawns. Do you have anything more robust? I don't. Or I don't have the thing to even ask that question, rather. <laughs> try something mysterious. 19% chance, no thanks. Shredded jellyfish. 39%. No thanks. I don't think I want jellyfish poisoning. Let's just try the grilled troglodyte bronze. Huge and pale, and their eyes stare bleakly into yours. But they smell fresh. Not bad at all. Tangy and toothsome. Walk on, chewing cheerfully. What does this place sell? Oh wow, they actually sell stuff. Unstamped crate of brilliant souls. Unstamped, as in... Oh right, this is the place where you can sell your... Like, black market goods. Wait, so if these are unstamped crates of human souls, then that implies the other crates of human souls are stamped. So, so there's like a factory somewhere that like puts their stamp of approval on these crates of human souls? How in the hell does that work? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to record this stuff down in my spreadsheet here. And when I'm done, I will be right back. There we go. That was surprisingly time-consuming. I can already tell that putting all of this data into Open Office Calc is not a great idea. I don't think this program is very good. And also, I don't really know how to use it. But, uh, anyway. Back to the Z. We could skip Mount Palmerston, but no, we shouldn't. I know they have Devil Bone Dice, but aside from that, I'm not quite sure. Oh, they have Zoop too, don't they? Yeah. Don't you dare try to attack me. Ah, I don't have a day free or a uh, port whatever thingy, so I can't actually get a port report. Well, 
Let me add this stuff to the spreadsheet and I'll be right back. There we go. Enter the information. Alright. So, do I want to buy some fuel? It is quite cheap here. I don't actually need any fuel at the moment, but there's really no reason not to. Yeah, let's get some. Don't think I want to dig. Takes two supplies, no thanks. Let's just, uh, let's go. Just gonna wait for that thing to turn around. And let's go down and turn off my light so it can't see me. Let's uh, hit up the Avid Horizon. Ooh, you know what? I feel like it was Port Cecil that had the strange catch. Let's actually go straight there. I really feel strongly that they had the strange catch. I know there's a lot of very disturbing underwater creatures around here. I've already seen a shark thing and some other, like, almost eel-like creature. Yep, there it is. Uh... Um, did the game crash? What the hell? The music's playing, but not- what? I didn't pause it. What the- Oh, no! Let me see if I can switch scenes, actually. There we go. That's what I'm seeing. The game crashed. What happened? A problem caused this program to stop interacting with Windows. No shit. Okay, maybe all tabbing out so much to uh, put stuff in my spreadsheet wasn't a great idea. Well, the last save should be for the port of uh, Mount Palmerston, right? The last port I was at. It better be. I'm about to go find out, so I'll be right back. Okay, thank God. It, did, it didn't kill my character or anything like that. I'm just right back here at Mount Palmerston. Need to purchase the fuel again. Hmm. I could take on that ship. It should be one of those 80 hit point ones, just like I just fought. Let's do it. Get behind it, quickly, before it shoots! Uh, it's gonna shoot, isn't it? Nope, I'm, we're good. Almost had time to shoot, but I just avoided it. Some fuel? Don't exactly need that, but it doesn't hurt. Let's go ahead and discover this thing over here to uh, get some fragments. There we go. Bidmead Reefs once again. 
Uh, there's something under the water. Where are you going? You're going down? Or over? Okay, back up. Oh, shit. Um, we're very near port. Come on. Come on. All right, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. Whew. That was kind of scary. Let's get a port report. Don't want to play chess. Could explore. Don't want to gather Syntelac. Alright, do they have strange catch? They don't. Hmm. I thought they did. Alright, well, let's explore around, I suppose. Auroral rupture, what the hell? A light grows in the far southwest. It begins like a distant bonfire, but very rapidly becomes brighter. Brighter. It looks remarkably like sunrise. Some of your crew fall to their knees. Others duck behind cover or shield their eyes. One cries, Dawn Machine waking! Hmm. I can look directly into the light. 37% chance of success, and that's with a mirror's quality of 62. Hundred percent chance of success if we just take cover. So I can look around, but not directly at the light, or I can just take cover. Take cover is obviously obviously the safe option. I don't think anything bad would happen, and there's a 100% chance of success. This one is ambiguous. There's no skill check. And this one is pretty much suicide. So do I take the very safe route, or the slightly curious one? Until I get my new ship, I think I want to be cautious. Let's just take over. Safety in darkness. Light sheets over you. Your hair crackles as if a storm were rising. You squint your eyes shut, but the radiance around you is bright enough that you see the pink of your eyelids. The light fades, suddenly. Men and women cry out, curse. One weeps. What the hell was it? It just suddenly appeared and then disappeared? Strange. Alright, let me add these to my spreadsheet and I'll be right back. There we go. Alright, I think that's it for this place. I'm just gonna wait for this thing to completely go off the screen before I dare move. And by this thing, I mean the thing that was hidden by my spreadsheet. It's gone now, don't worry. Okay. Alright, where to next? Almost seems like I'm kind of doing this in reverse. I could go straight to Nunzio. I could look if there's anything here. I don't really want to go exploring, but I have already been all around here, so I suppose there's not that much danger? Nah, screw it. I'm scared. I'm not doing it. This place has lots of weird deep sea creatures with 200 hit points. Khan's glory. Oh yeah, so somebody mentioned, let me just pause right here. When you do the Z-Bat thing, it actually says click to mark on your chart. I've never clicked it, I never bothered reading that. <laughs> Tutorial pop-up, <laughs> after I've been playing this game for like 16 hours. Thank you! Ah, there it is. Alright, we'll go a little bit up. Just see if our Z-Bat notices anything up here. Oh, another one of those things.
Let's get a port report. Explore the beach. Hmm. Could take some more soundings. I think I took soundings before. I could have sworn I did. Or I could just rescue a... a ticking parcel. Let's do that. Let's see, did I already read this? No, I don't think I did. Tick, tick, tick. Inside layers and layers of wadded cotton is an elegant anniversary clock. Gilded... gilded ratwork gears under a glass dome. Sapphired face. Scintillac embellished hands. Designed to run for a year and a day before stopping. Most likely a wedding gift. The winding key is not included. An oversight? Or is it a wedding gift for some, from someone who did not expect the marriage to last? Whatever the giver's intention, it hardly matters now. Even without its key. The clock's works? The clock's works and jewels will fetch a nice price. Outlandish artifact. Nice. Let's take some soundings. I swear I did this. Yeah, the whole beach shivers like the surface of a drum. Yeah, I already did that. So nothing... Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything, at least at the moment. Let's go to the tavern. Don't think there's anything to do here. Nope. What do they have in the shops? Um... I, you know, I don't think I'm going to bother recording places that just have fuel and supplies unless it's some sort of weird exceptional price. Yeah. I don't feel like entering that into my spreadsheet. It doesn't really matter. I guess we are just going backwards. Let's go to Aceville. Guess I might as well gather some supplies while I'm there. I really don't know why it keeps thinking I'm in combat. There's nothing around me. Okay, so last time I gathered supplies, it gave me something like eight supplies and I lost one Zailer. Which is more than worth it because, again, I don't like to put a price on Zailer's lives, but they're pretty damn cheap. In fact, I can get two Zailers back at London for the price of one supply. So I can do that again, or I can go beachcombing. Let's get a port report to begin with. Gather supplies again. Yeah, did pretty much the same thing as before. Nine supplies, lost one crew. More than worth it. Except for the family of the dearly departed, but oh well. Alright, pretty sure it's Aram that had the strange catch. I just hope I can actually buy it with Echo. Because I know a lot of the things at Aram you have to trade other things for, like secrets and, and stories and stuff. I wish I had some dark drop coffee beans so I can actually do that cool thing that I, that I did here before. Like the... What was it? They welcomed me in and then I had like a dream sequence or something like that. 
whatever it was, it, it did some really good stuff to me. Pork abort. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, there's a lot to write down here. And let's just take a quick look. Do they have what I want? They do! Yeah, strange catch! Okay, sweet, so I actually have something to bring back. Excellent. It's damn cheap, too. Okay, so I'm gonna write this stuff down and I'll be right back. Well, I filled out the things in the spreadsheet that I cared about the most, and then I kind of gave up when I looked at this and realized, oh my god. Because it got surprisingly hard to write when you're not dealing with Echo for the buy and sell price, but instead certain numbers of uh, stories and searing enigmas and all sorts of weird stuff. So consequently, my notation for certain things is not exactly consistent, as you can see. And to be honest, I don't quite understand how this stuff works here with... Uh, I, I don't understand. This is how many you have, this is how many it takes. So, like, if I sold this, then I would be selling one captivating treasure and I would be gaining 50 fuel? I think? I don't know. I just find this very confusing. I get how the buy works. I figured that out after I spent a bunch of secrets buying the Sooth and Cooper long box. I'm just not entirely sure about the sell. So, anyway... I just stopped writing because some of these things, like these things, I don't care about that much because I don't think there's going to be a trade request for them. And also I'm just sick of entering things into my spreadsheet, so I give up. Okay, so I came here for the strange catch. Let's go ahead and purchase that. I believe I need seven. Yeah, I should get 500 echo for seven strange catch. I don't think I have the room. No, okay, so I need to buy one more, and I don't have the room. So... What could I do? I can sell my fuel or my supplies for all of zero echo. I guess it's a donation. Aside from that, I don't think there's anything else I can really do with it. Alright, have a donation of fuel. Okay, we are all set to go back. And normally I would actually want more fuel than supplies, because I tend to go through fuel a heck of a lot faster, but I want to keep the supplies just because they're simply worth more. They're worth about double what the fuel is, with the normal cost of them being about 20 echo, whereas the fuel is normally about 10. So, just kind of trying to maximize my profit here. And 16 fuel should be plenty to get back. Alright, now let's just make a beeline back to Fallen London, I suppose. Let's make a stop by the Chapel of Light in the Avid Horizon just to collect some port reports. So, basically, I am actually going in reverse. I think this is the place where I can gorge myself on food. Mm hmm. Let's get a port report. Do they have a shop? They do not. Let's go.
Oh my fucking god, what in the hell is that? I think I said Nomad, and it certainly had a thousand hit points. Okay, maybe we're not going to the Avid Horizon. Jesus Christ. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm just gonna wait for it to keep going down. It's not coming towards me, is it? It kind of seemed like it was heading in my direction. What is it doing? Okay. It's uh, still going south. Let's just go very far north. Ports, no shop, of course. Yeah, let's head to Mount Palmerston and pick up as much fuel as I can hold in my hold. No pun intended. And then go straight back to London. Okay, another massive beast. Oh, shit. We okay? Oh, it's actually coming for us. Or is it? Wait, no, I think it's turning. It looked like it was coming for us. I, okay, kind of... I think it is actually coming for us. Okay, I want to stop at Mount Palmerston, but I don't want to slow down. Because I am slightly faster than it, it looks like. Alright, I'm just going to skip Mount Palmerston. The fuel there is only one echo cheaper than it is back in London. It's not worth it. I would lose more money in fuel just turning around, not to mention endangering my life. Uh, go do a favor for the Acolyte on Station 3.
Some sort of beetle has invaded your morsel of ship's biscuit. It waggles its antennae impertinently. Little bastard. That's okay, just eat them too. Protein. Let's uh, guard the yard again. Smugglers along the shore. The place proves to be a wide field, knee-deep in the dark matter. Thousands of hearts worth. Wait, I'm sorry, what? The place proves to be a wide field, knee-deep in the dark matter. Thousands of hearts worth. What? I don't even know what that means. Looking too closely at it makes you dizzy. Looking too far away from it makes you a poor watchman. It makes for an uncomfortable couple of hours, pacing around the dumping ground, which runs all the way down to the beach. In the last quarter of the watch, there's stealthy movement, a rowboat, three hooded figures. Got three more cred. They move stealthily in the dark, they haven't noticed you yet. Okay, so the same thing as before, I can either challenge them or just watch. Once again, let's just watch. Hmm, I think this is the same one that I read before. Yeah, same thing. Gain some supplies, gain a sack of dark drop coffee beans, which I can use at Aram. And we're good. Pretty sure I visited Shepherd's Isle and Abbey Rock on the way over here, I would assume, but just in case, I guess I'll stop there. Actually, let's take a stop at Abbey Rock as well. I want to see if they have a shop so I can put this stuff in my spreadsheet. Yeah, I still need to bring some recent news at some point to this place. That seems to be the key to either gaining entrance or at least just getting some sort of dialogue going. Nothing there. Fuel and supplies. Don't care to log that. Not particularly important. I saw a crab somewhere down south. Hello. I guess you can actually just treat the crabs like, uh, like ships, basically. Just kind of get behind them and you're good. Let's actually not stop at Hunter's Keep, because I want to make sure I still have this when I get back to London, so I can hire a, my missing Zailer that I lost at the shiny place, Easteville. Yeah, Easteville. Let's turn around for a second here. Not good for the hole, but my hole is already damaged enough that I'm probably just going to repair it anyway, so... I think any damage I take from this point on is pretty much free, so long as I don't go below 50% and start losing Zailers. Or go to zero and die.
I really hope he pays me more than 500 or this is going to take a while. I want the trade quests that pay a thousand. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do like three or four more of these to actually be able to buy the ship. But, uh, let's take a deep breath. Back in London. Ah. Everything's safe. Talk to the harbor master. Read the paper. Let's, uh, hire some more crew. Anything to give to the alarming scholar? Anything of particular interest? Nope. Alright, let's do the trade thing. I think he's starting to like me. Thank you. This is perfect. I can buy a cave trout down at the docks any day of the week, but I'll need something a little different. Something for the shapelings. But now, I have further need of your services. Good. What do you want? Oh, not more strange catch. It's the same quest, really? Well, that's lame. Man, I'm gonna have to keep grinding this one out. That sucks. Let's uh, go ahead and turn on my port reports. my hold looking. 28 out of 40, plenty of room. Okay, well that made me a couple extra hundred echo. Technically I could actually buy the ship right now, but that would be a very bad idea. Because then I'd be left with 136 echo. Okay, given that I made 500, well, I got 500 after submitting the strange catch. I guess my actual profit margin would have been, well, what? How much was the strange catch? Let me see. It was 25. So my actual profit margin is probably more like 375. But then you add in the extra couple hundred from the port reports, and uh, I might be able to buy the ship if I do one more, ver one more run of that trade route. Because, I mean, I've got to do it again. It's either go for that or go for the hunting trophy. But I'm not sure where the hunting trophy is, and I know exactly where the strange catch is. I'm almost inclined to just cut it out next time I do it. Like, I kind of want to just do this trade route again and just cut it out, because it just seems really boring to watch. Because it's not particularly interesting to do to do either. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can just cut it and do like highlights. Any encounters that I encounter, any uh, special things that I do at an island, aside from just submitting a port report. We'll, we'll see. I'll think about it. Anyway, for now I think we're good. Yeah. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And in the next episode, I think I'm going to do the same trade route again, but hopefully this time faster and I might cut some of it out, because it's not particularly interesting to do or watch. This seems to be the unfortunate kind of grindy part of the game. But the good news is, I'm extremely close to being able to buy that new ship. And as soon as I get that new ship, I can start doing some more, more fun things. Go exploring into the darkness some more. And engage quite a few enemies that I never would have engaged before. So, we're almost there. Almost.